Hey, what's going on guys? Cryptos and Crypto Wilson here, and today I'm going to show you a quick, easy setup tutorial on TPA4 Unturned. So first off, we're going to start by downloading the TPA plugin. Opening up the file. And we're going to drag it into our Unturned folder. So I'll be using a test server and drag it into the plugins. Once that's in, you can now start your server. Once the server started, it will show you all this. And we're going to start by configuring the plugin. So we're going to go back into our test rocket plugins and you should see a rocket mod.tp inside plugins folder. Double click and edit with Notepad. And you can see the configuration for TPA. So, first off, we've got the TPA cooldown, which is basically as soon as you TPA to someone, you got 20 seconds before you can type in a TPA to someone again. The TPA delay settings, so that means as soon as someone accepts your TPA request, it will be delayed by 10 seconds before you can teleport. You also got the effect ID, the link will be in the description down below. And this is basically the list of unturned effects that will show up. So basically, this ninja effect, as soon as someone teleports, it will show you this kind of effect. I haven't tried this out yet, but it should work. Next, we've got TPA delay set as true or false. If you want to set this as true, that means the TPA delay will always be turned on. Same goes for cancel on bleeding. So as soon as you type in a TPA request to someone and you have the delay enabled, as soon as you bleed, it will automatically cancel. Same as getting hurt, as soon as you get punched or hit, it will cancel the teleport sequence. And TPA cooldown true or false, and whether you want the ninja effect. Now I'll set this all to true so I can show you guys an in game demonstration of it. So, exiting out of the config, make sure you save it. And we're gonna reload the TPA plugin by rocket reload TPA. As you can see, the, all the settings are now enabled, and we've got our settings. Now on to the permissions, we're going to go to the permissions.config, edit with notepad++ and we're going to put the TPA permissions in group default. So I'm going to copy users permissions, add it in and also add another set, make sure all the spaces behind it are all correct and aligned. Now adding this permission. First of all, we're going to have TPA and TPA.asset TPA.deny TPA.send and TPA.abort so Basically, as soon as you send a request to someone, you can abort it so you don't get a set Basically, if you send a TPA request to someone, you can abort it Basically, if you send a TPA request to someone, you can cancel it straight away in case you TPA to someone by accident. And we're going to save the rocket permissions. So you can close out the notepad and do p reload in console or slash p in game. That will reload the permissions. So I'm currently in game, and if I do slash p, you can see the list of my permissions. And if I do slash TPA, you can now see that it shows the list of TPA commands. If I teleport to a person, just do TPA player name. It can also be in short form, so you don't have to type in the whole player's name. TPA accept if you have received a request for someone to teleport to you. TPA deny to deny the request. And TPA abort. Hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like to help, and see you guys next time.